Hello everyone, this is the Priestess of Moot. I am back. So, uh, today is my day off. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm very happy about having it off today. Um, I'm off today and tomorrow. Um, I went out grocery shopping today and I had totally forgotten to take my debit card with me. So, there was things I wanted to buy like they did have... Um, next month and april's edition of archaeology magazine i wanted to get that um it was some, i think the cover was about the roman empire um but they you know they have it from you know all over um so you know a couple of things um i don't know if you can see it from here you probably can't uh, my anubis um statue is not on the altar anymore uh the reason for this is that i kind of want to make a shrine um just for him but i don't have the space so when he appears it will generally be due during one of his festivals so that's the only time you'll actually see him and also on the period of like the anniversary period of mom's um passing um oh but yeah so he's not on my um, altar anymore. Um, neither is Bastet, but that's only because, um, of the ritual that I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, so happy, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having, or had a great Wednesday. Um, My shop will be back opening back up tomorrow. Um, I'll reopen it about 2, maybe 2.30 in the morning. Um, I'm so concerned about one person's package. And so if uh, she doesn't get it um, by tomorrow, um, I'll probably end up going next week and sending her the same item she ordered, which was tan Helios uh, tea lights and um, and everything. So um, I was going to re-put them back on my shop. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to because of the package problems. But I am going to make another tan uh, Helios tea lights with those mature, and then I will be putting it back in my shop. So for people that might be interested in my Helios candles and are wondering when I'm going to have new ones in. It'll probably be another, it'll probably be next week um, that I will have more up. Okay, so due to the horrible lighting in my bedroom where I do all my rituals, um, I'm reading it with a, t <laughs> with a book light. Um, yeah, I have to. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to purify my hands, just like Sharon does in her videos. Um, I have my uh, Natron, or my equivalent of Natron. And I've got my Afame uh, that I will be using to... Um, Scoop it in it. So I'll just oh. put three for maiden, mother, and crone. Not too much. I don't want it to be over. Let's see. Um, I, will, I will be using this Natron for all of my rituals. Okay. 
I'm gonna go over here or somewhere. I'm gonna go over here. I have a little small table, and I'll go ahead and close by my. Ouch. My hands are pure, my hands are pure, my heart is pure, my heart is pure. They're pure like the gods, they're pure like the ancestors. Okay, I'll dispose of that um, when I'm done. Um, so, if you guys are interested in how to make your own Natron, I do have a two-part video. Um, on it. So as most people know by now, I make my own stuff, my own ritual items, mostly candles. So these are not um, Egyptian candles. These are actually, um, I believe these are um, Ogom candles, but I'm repurposing them um, for uh, God and Goddess candles. So tonight we're going to be honoring the goddess Hathor and the god Jehuti. It's nice my hand was smoking a little bit. <laughs> so um, I use these barbecue skewers. Not barbecue, but they're like shish kebab skewers. Um, to light my um, jar candles. Um, yeah, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be ordering another Jehuti um, candle. And um, I generally burn, because... I don't have another one. I generally burn this once a week, but once, um, but once my, I get my, my second Jehuti candle or my replacement, I will burn this uh, probably every day. All right. Um, so if people want to know why in the world am I using a book light, it's because the light in here sucks <clears throat> and, uh, all right. Mm. Okay. Hail Jehuti's hands are pure, who dispels the darkness and quiet storm, in the, the tumult and cast down evil, foretell them tomorrow, foresee in the future. You guide those in heaven, earth, and you ought. Come, O Golden One, come, Hawthor, Sovereign Lady, cool your heart, dispel your anger, take joy in sinister and song. Come to the gods and come to the people, return with your generous heart. <clears throat> take these, your cool wars are the indentation. Milk, milk, may you taste this in your shrine. I give you incense, I give you incense, great a purity. Um, for people who want to know uh, what kind of incense I'm burning, I'm burning kithy incense. And I did get another um, another order in of more kippy incense.
Take this, your bread on which gods live. Turn yourself to these, your offerings, receive them from me. And then, I'm going to go over to Okay. Come peace, Jehuti, excellent of wisdom. Come peace, Jehuti, Lord of the sacred words. Come peace, Jehuti, greatest God. Come peace, Jehuti, Lord of eight town. Come peace, Hawthor, Lady of Turquoise. Come peace, Hawthor, Lady of Gold. Come peace, Hawthor, greatest goddess. Come peace, Hawthor, Lady of the Sky. Alright. Oh, that was a little bright. Oh, wow. My wick went into. See, this sometimes, this is the problem with um, homemade candles, especially these kinds of candles. Because sometimes, sometimes, They will not do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> okay. And uh, some of it came off. All right. So anyway, so that's why you won't see these candles in my shop. They are only good for at-home use, especially if the person who's using them at home is the one on the uh, on the video but yeah I've had a couple problems with these candles which is why I'm not selling them in my store so anyway speaking of store um, as I said tomorrow my store will reopen um, I took a week off mainly because I did not have the finances to ship um, items out to people so I thought better just put it on vacation um, tomorrow I'm going to be ordering uh, some more. I'll be ordering some wicks. These wicks are specifically for the seven-day candle containers that I have purchased. I have three boxes that I have not opened. Um, they will be arriving on Saturday, and when they get here, uh, probably next Wednesday, I will go ahead and start. Um, I'm gonna make a test candle. So my idea was I was going to have these candles ready by next month that is not going to happen um, because of the fact is that I did not realize that I couldn't just use any old wick for the candles I am learning which is important I am learning a lot about candle making just by having the shop so um, I am going to be uh, making a test candle. I um, will be curing the candle for two weeks, and then once the candle has cured, I am going to light it and see what happens. If the candle burns the way it's supposed to, the way it's supposed to, um, I will make more of them, and I will sell them in my shop probably the end of next month so but they are coming they are definitely definitely coming 
All right, so that is the end of the ritual. Um, I'll just start, I'll just end it by doing this. In Uma'a. So yes, yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you guys want to know what my offering was, it was these Oreo cookies. Um, I went to Myers and they had them. Uh, they're supposed to have little. They're supposed to have little Easter. Um, designs on them. Because it, it is getting closer and closer to Easter. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it because uh, the store is closed on Easter and I can uh, take a break. <laughs> uh, which, you know, Easter would have been a pretty um, busy uh, time. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, Shin Update.